So this weekend we've removed all of the line side signals from the Northern City Line and we are now running a railway with in-cab signaling only and nothing trackside. So changing everything that we've known and understood about signaling before, we've just completed it and we're running a commuter railway in the centre of London with no trackside signals whatsoever. So we've done a mix of hard engineering, removing signal heads, cutting everything down as well as some more complicated cable work and then we've done a lot of testing over the weekend, so the track and train interface. But the biggest change you'll see, if you are that way inclined, is the removal of the signals that's line side. So that's the big steel work that is now in. It's gone and it's gone forever. I'm really proud of my team because it is a big step forward. To take this change, it's such a busy part of the railway. It's a really big challenge and they've just lent straight into that challenge and um, adapted really, really well. So personally for me, having been on this journey from the start, uh, really taking down the signals is the, the, the final chapter uh, in terms of the infrastructure and, and the, the most rewarding part about that is it's really the validation. So we've had the system in use for some time now, but we've had that comfort blanket uh, where we could always fall back on the signals if the system wasn't performing uh, as we hoped it would. So the fact that GTR is the operator, Network Rail is the infrastructure owner, are both comfortable that the system's working as it should do, we now can take those signals away and that represents a pretty symbolic milestone that we can get to that state. My number one lessons learned is that you can actually achieve this level of change in the railway. Sometimes it's, you read a lot, there's a lot of negative press about how difficult programmes and projects can be. What this has proven is you can do it and you can do it well and you can do it exactly as it's meant to be and you can introduce this level of cutting edge technology on UK railways. We've managed to do it with three companies involved in delivering a change, a signalling supplier, a train operating company and Network Rail. It is the model that we will need to scale up and follow on the main line and the fact that we've successfully achieved that as a no-signals railway with these three companies just gives us confidence that we can scale up from where we are now. This is a giant leap for us. This is like Nokia 3210 to iPhone 16. So it's a massive leap in technology and a, and a real step change in how we operate our trains and how we approve stuff and what we really do. This Pathfinder has enabled us to learn, it's enabled us to refine our training, our people and our technologies, which will only benefit the, the East Coast Main Line when we deliver on to that. We've been pressing on with introducing new systems on the Main Line as well and early next year we'll see not just GTR using them but 26 other operators using them as well and that's going to be the excitement as we come out of 2025 and into 2026. This is the pinnacle of my career so far. I've been involved in lots of major projects in terms of delivering big railway changes. I have to say this is probably the hardest of the ones I've been involved in, but being at the forefront of transforming the way we deliver these projects and transforming the railway is what gets me out of it.